Hey Air Signs, welcome to your May reading. We're doing it a little differently this month. You're just getting a general reading for all Air Signs, and then I'll pull a one card love message for each sign. So let's get started. What does May have in store for Air Signs? Ooh, communication is coming through in May. Also a lot of creativity coming to you this month. Could be creative communication too. Um, like being serenaded by a romantic partner in a song. Or just, I don't know, a lot of creativity like painting, um, songwriting, writing novels or short stories, stuff like that. Writing letters too, like it feels like um, love letters. Like there's a lot of love when it comes to this communication and this art. What else for May? Well, we got, okay, what do we got here? We have wishes coming true. All of your desires are manifesting in May or they're in the process of um, being delivered to you in 3D. You also have the death card here representing transformation and changes. So May is a new beginning for air signs. It actually feels like May is a very big transformational month for all signs. Um, transformation has been coming up in all of the readings. And I always say April flower, sorry, April showers bring May flowers. So leading up to this point has been a little shitty, you know, being in quarantine and whatnot, everything that's going on in the world. And it just feels like May is this breakthrough month. A lot of changes happening. Um, this could be financially, romantically, or just with your friends and family members too. You also have the Hierophant, which is the balance union card. So everything is coming into balance. This could be talking about a romantic union um, or just union in general with friends, like making a new friend getting a job that you've always wanted, starting a business, getting a raise, stuff like that. Everything is coming together in May. That's kind of been the theme. So what else for air signs? Five of cups, let's clarify that. So you may have felt um, a little disheartened because you've had to wait a while for all of this to manifest. And there may have been points where you wanted to give up hope. And that's okay because you're human. So remember that. It's okay to cry over the spilt milk, right? Just don't give up hope because you have the two cups behind you that are full of new beginnings and new opportunities. And Temperance is here telling you that it's finally time for these two cups to come into play. You're going to be able to look inside and see what that new opportunity is. Temperance also represents as above, so below. So things in the 5D are slowly merging with the 3D and you're going to see that change shortly. It's not going to be full out change. It's going to be very subtle, but um, there's going to be a point during the transition where you have that light bulb moment and you're like, oh, oh shit, it's happening now. This is what was meant to happen. Like this is what I've been feeling intuitively. Oh, what was that card? We got the King of Pentacles. You are feeling very abundant, very stable. Um, it's interesting that the king came out and not the queen. The queen has more of a nurturing, nurturing energy, um, like a very motherly, stable, secure energy. Whereas the king of pentacles, this is the retirement card. So you are very abundant. You're very secure because of the abundance coming to you. You feel like you can take on the world, right? Like. You have that security to go after what you want, to start doing what you want, right? There's really nothing holding you back anymore because um, you just have that confidence to go forward and achieve all that you want to achieve. So what else is going on this month for air signs? Ten of Swords. A cycle is completion is coming to completion. This is also talking about um, transformation along with the death card. There's a new beginning, no more self-sabotaging, which goes hand in hand with the King of Pentacles and what I said earlier about feeling secure and going after what you want to go after, achieving your dreams. So it is like a 
a Taylor Swift moment, you know, in Bad Blood or whatever the song is, where she's like, Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Uh, oh, why? Because she's dead. That's kind of the energy around the Ten of Swords for the air signs. You are a new person. You, um, you have a lot of self-respect and self-love for yourself, and you've been working on this for a while, and now it's fully coming into bloom in May, and that is amazing. It's a brand new beginning for you, new month as well, and there's a lot that you're going to achieve this month. And just a note on that, on achieving everything this month, it may not be what you have in mind, what you have on your list, but you're going to achieve a lot. So don't be worried. Um, don't get into a lower vibration if you haven't checked everything off your list because things are happening unexpectedly, right? So you are going to achieve a lot this month, but it just may not be what you expected to achieve. And a bee just flew at my window, so that may be a sign for you guys. We also have the Knight of Cups. This is the romance card, like a knight in shining armor, Prince Charming coming forward. So your love life definitely is going to start blooming as well. And this could be in regards to your own self-love, family love, romantic love. There is a change happening. It's going to be very gentle and subtle um, because this love is, is here to to help you learn more about self-love and, and to remind you that you're worthy of love. So it's not going to come in full force head on and scare the bejesus out of you. No, it's going to be very sweet, subtle, romantic, um, definitely like Prince Charming type of energy. It's not going to feel rushed. You're not going to feel pressured. None of that. It's a very sweet, sweet energy. And what else for air signs? You have the Seven of Pentacles here. This is telling you, you have the Three of Wands. They kind of go hand in hand. Um, Seven of Pentacles is telling you that divine timing is here. It's now. It's time to harvest everything that you've been working towards. This could be family related. This is the pregnancy card. But this could be regarding anything and everything. With the Three of Wands, that's just confirming that it is time for you to reap your rewards. You're going to be very surprised, pleasantly surprised, when it comes forward, um, just because you didn't expect it to manifest in that way, and that is okay. Spirit is always trying to keep you on your toes. And lastly, Six of Pentacles, this is all about um, reciprocation. That could be feelings, that can be effort, effort put into a relationship or at work. It's also about recognition too. So if you've been putting in a lot of effort, people are going to start recognizing that and they're going to start um, applauding you for all of your hard work. So that's the general message. Let's move into the love messages. So we're going to start with Gemini for the air signs. Gemini love. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There's a lot of chemistry between you and your partner, even if you aren't aware of it or you're you're doubting it a bit um, it is definitely there both of you can feel it there's a lot of tension too because you both want to like say something but you're not sure if you can if it's appropriate for you to say something to one another but it feels like you may be doubting this chemistry you you're turning to other people to help you understand it and your friends may say things that don't really resonate with you and um, my only advice to that is this is your life, Gemini, so you have to live it to your fullest. You shouldn't take someone's opinion so, um, not harshly, but just don't rely so much on other people's opinions when it comes to your love life. Don't let your friends or family members deter you from going after a love. Because remember, this is all about lessons. So even if you have chemistry with someone, and you decide to start dating and it doesn't work out, that's okay. That was the soul connection that you had to have manifest in this lifetime because you and that person both had a lesson to learn from each other. So don't run away from this chemistry. It may be really intense, but it's intense for a reason, right? There's a lesson here that needs to be learned. There's um, a contract that needs to be fulfilled. 
So that was Gemini. Now we're going to Libra. Libra, you have true love. True love is coming your way, Libra. It feels like it may be starting in May, like baby steps, right? What we have here, the Knight of Cups, that gentle energy is coming through, baby steps. Um, it could be a love at first sight type of feeling as well, but you're not going to call it a love at first sight because you're a little bit too, um, I don't know, there's just something about that phrase that you're kind of like, eh, I don't know, I don't want to be one of those people. It could be that you say that all the time and you, you want to change that. Um, or people joke around with you saying, oh, you, you fall in love too easily. It may be something like that. And you're like, nope, I don't want people to know about this love, this new crush, whatever the case is. You want to keep it to yourself and that's okay. It's okay to keep this new love, this true love, um, with your current partner or the new partner that may be coming in. It's okay to keep it to yourself for a while. You don't have to post about it on social media. You don't have to tell your friends or your family, right? Just embrace this love and have that honeymoon period and it's okay to do that so now we have Aquarius this one jumped right out okay I am not joking this card has come up in every horoscope reading for all the signs today so this unrequited love card is not meant to trigger you this is um, a reminder for actually all three of you. This is the theme for the month of May for all signs. The unrequited love card is reminding you to practice self-care and to love yourself, right? Because if you don't love yourself, how can your partner love you? How can you attract love? So it's just a gentle reminder to pay attention to your needs as well. If you need to practice self-care, do that. If you want to get dressed up for yourself, do that, right? Love yourself. You come first, okay? So for Aquarius, we have separation. This is not meant to trigger you either because at the bottom of the deck, you have make the effort. The separation card here is telling you Aquarians that um, the separation you're currently in, that you're currently experiencing, is coming to an end, okay? Some of you may have a little longer in separation. It depends on where you fall in the... Um, on the spectrum right if you've recently gone into separation it feels like it may continue until mid-may um, or the end of may but for the most part a lot of you Aquarians are coming together you're coming out of the separation because you or your partner or both of you are ready to make that effort someone is coming forward this little person here to their partner making that effort telling their true feelings, expressing their love. So know that this period of separation is ending. Um, and this also may come about once quarantine gets lifted or once restrictions are being lifted. Like when you can physically come together, that's almost when um, the spiritual romantic separation is ending too. So that is the air sign video for the month of May. I hope you all enjoyed it.